Now let's check some of the important function of the parts of brain and let's begin with the frontal lobe right mainly for motor function because of a pre primary motor area and premotor area everything is located in the frontal lobe itself now, now, now the way by which cortical homunculus is represented it's something like this the larger body area the larger body part which is represented in the brain that can move very finely like face and tongue and thumb right the another important function is behavior and personality and it was found that if you remove a frontal lobe from an animal that animal will lay, uh, lack the attention and concentration capability this is the important function of frontal lobe parietal lobe for sensory areas temporal lobe for hearing and occipital lobe for vision now there are two important nuclei which are encountered during auditory and visual pathway these are medial and lateral geniculate body medial for music lateral for light music in the auditory pathway light in the visual pathway medial and lateral geniculate body right now what if if you remove temporal lobe from a monkey that will result in what is called as kluver bucy syndrome this is characterized by hypersexuality in a monkey hypermetamorphosia even a little stimuli to that monkey will drive that monkey very crazy placidity let's suppose if a monkey was afraid of snake before now he won't be afraid of any uh, he won't be afraid anymore of snake that's uh, called a whole sort of a behavioral change in a monkey that monkey now what if you remove whole of the cerebral cortex from an animal that will result what is called as shambridge that animal will hiss claw and bite and he would be crazy 